In this video, we're going to define free and basic variables. In formally speaking, free and basic variables play the same roles that independent and dependent variables play in high school algebra. And we won't dive right in with the definitions. Instead, let's look at a system of linear equations. And let's write down its augmented matrix. So hopefully, we can do this fairly quickly by now. We just read out the coefficients. Like so. And now remember that in this augmented matrix, these columns represent variables, except for the last column, which represents a quality. Now this matrix will have pivot positions and pivot columns. Going back to a previous definition, Let's ask ourselves what the pivot columns are. To answer that question, we need to perform either Gaussian elimination or Gauss-Jordan elimination to put this into either row echelon form or reduced row echelon form. I did that off camera. And now you can see we have a leading entry here and a leading entry here. That tells you where the pivot positions are in the original matrix which of course therefore tells you where the pivot columns are. And what you notice is that you have three variables corresponding to columns. X corresponds to a pivot column. Y corresponds to a pivot column. Z does not correspond to a pivot column. And now we'll state the definition. A variable is called basic if it corresponds to a pivot column. So going back to this example, X and Y are basic and conversely, a variable is called free if it does not Qu 
correspond to a pivot column. So again, in terms of this example, this variable Z, there are no pivot positions in this third column. It's not a pivot column. And Z is therefore a free variable. 